Hey everybody, I'm Alan from You Do AV with a You Do Quickie. Um, today we're going to learn how to properly install a compression fitting for RG6 cabling. This is also called an F connector in the industry. So, uh, first you have to cut the wire to length. Um, make sure you use dikes for that, don't use strippers because RG6 is not copper, it's copper clad aluminum. One snip with your strippers and you're done. Buy yourself a new set of strippers. So go ahead and cut that sucker to length. Once you got the right length, take your stripper. Um, this is also a common uh, misunderstanding in the industry is that you can just use a razor blade or any random stripper that you want. But it's really important that you get the right fitting, right stripping, um, because if you scratch this needle or you mess up this needle, this is 90% of the reason why your um, cable doesn't work, your cable internet's too slow, or whatever, is an improper connection on this part right here. So we gotta do this right. So, we got it to length. I got my stripper right here. With these strippers, usually they have some kind of marking, like this little plastic tab. That plastic tab indicates where the end of the cable should be to get uh, approximately the right length. So I've already calibrated it. It's already gonna strip it correctly. Give it a few spins. Pops off. All right, when you pop it off, you see I've got my white jacket here. You have your aluminum shielding right here. It's like, um, it's like a braid. Okay, underneath that is a layer of foil. Then inside of that, you have like this white foam stuff. Um, and then you have your center conductor. So as soon as you strip it, push all your braiding back. Just like that. So your braiding should be just like that. Then you're gonna take a look at this white part. Make sure that no foil and none of this braiding is encroaching on the white part and touching the center. All it takes is one little hair and then you're done. That connection is no good. Very, very, very important step. Okay? So this looks good. There's nothing touching the center foam. Nothing, I'm sorry, the center conductor, there's nothing on the foam. The foil looks intact. All the braid is backed. Next, take your compression connector. Put them on there and I'm gonna jam them on there. And I'm gonna jam them on there so that the white part, the white foam is level with the bottom of the bowl. I don't know if we can get a close up of that. So that's gonna be the right spot right there. The white part is level with the bottom of the bowl. Once I've got that, grab your coax compression tool and squeeze it. Properly compressed, you should barely be able to see any black sticking through just like that. Perfectly compressed. Um, the idea is behind a compression is that it creates a, a much tighter seal, much stronger seal. It's a little bit more weather resistant than the old crimp style. And then you look at my center conductor, see how my center conductor is sticking out past the end of my um, screw on connector? That's the perfect length right there. You don't want it too long, you don't want it too short. That's the perfect, perfect length where it's sticking out about an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch past the connector itself. That's it. You're done. Perfect connection. Land it. It is good practice to um, take a wrench and tighten the connector down when you're all done to make sure that the wire doesn't come loose and you got a good connection. That's a good practice. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't always do that. Sometimes I do. And you're all done. Um, I'm Alan, and today we did AV. Now, you do AV.